guys welcome to my channel how are you doing today i hope you guys are doing wonderful and um, yeah today i did this pink smoky um, inspired makeup tutorial actually the color inspiration came from the vice 4 palette i looked at this palette and i was like i ex knew exactly what i was going to do this palette is amazing you guys and i really really love this palette you guys like i can't explain how much i love this palette the colors are so beautiful they actually came exactly they looked on the palette on my skin basically so i actually was very surprised and satisfied as well so i hope you guys enjoy the video and if you want to see how i achieved everything on my face Stay tuned. So to start off, I'm priming my eyes with my NARS Smudge Proof Primer. So I'm going to take a cool crease brush and I'm going to reach for my Urban Decay Vice 4 palette, which is an amazing palette by the way, you guys. Look at the colors. <laughs> so beautiful. Alright. So I'm going to start with Discreet and I'm going to put it on my crease. It looks like a very pale white color but it gives me a very light, um, I would say it's a very nice transition color. Like, It's not there but it is there. It's a weird kind of color. Right now I'm reaching for my Sephora shadow brush and I'm going to apply this color called Harlot right in my inner corner. So this is my starting point um, eyeshadow. I'm going to take the color, which is, the, I feel like this is the star of the palette, I'm telling you guys, 1985, and I'm just going to pack it on my lids. Oh. So stay in the middle, you don't have to take it all the way out because we're going to do something else over there as well, but pack this color in as much as possible. This Taking the same shadow brush, I'm going to apply the shade B down, which is this uh, plum purple color right here. It's like a bluish purple midnight color. Now I'm going to take the shade Dead B. I'm going to put it right after Dead B. Sorry, right after um, B down. I'm pull it in the middle. And I'm going to take the color um, Discreet, which I applied before, and I'm going to diffuse the harsh lines. So I'm using a very large brush. I don't know why, but I kind of felt like using it. And I'm going to take the color Bones, which is a gorgeous highlighting color, and I'm going to apply it a on my brow bone. I'm going to apply it um, in my inner corner. This is my Starlux eyeliner. And I'm just going to do a very thin line. Right now I'm going to take my NARS Dual Intensity Eyeliner and I'm just going to type line my waterline. Let them down with everything. I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara because I'm using today my Dior uh, Dior Show Mascara. more I'm going to apply a little bit of falsies and for falsies I'm using today Ardell's um, accent I think these are like half faulty so you just a little bit right there for um, eyelash glue what I really like to do if they don't have any applicator um, I like to apply it at the back of my hand or go through with it like this area and just put it with my finger
what I'm going to do is I am going to apply a little bit of face primer and for primer I'm using today my touch and soul feels like honey primer my skin gets really moisturized and now I'm going to apply um, my makeup forever ultra HD concealer under my eye I'll reach for a damp beauty blender and I'm just going to blend everything. Make sure they're blended in properly. I'm going to apply my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. So now I'm going to take, and I'm going to put some color on my skin, and I'm going to take my Hourglass Radiant Bronze, and I'm just going to give my skin some color because the foundation took it all away. Alright, so now that I'm done with that, I'm going to do the contouring. So for contouring, I'm using today my uh, Tarte Contour Sticks. So this is number three and this is number one right here and leave it right there then transition so i just want it to be like that i'm going to take this um, tart brush and i'm just going to smudge every blend everything away i really love this contouring process and since it's winter again um i will try and lean on to more cream contour base instead of like um powder base I'm going to take the dark color and I'm just going to apply it right here. And I'm using today my Ugo Tools fan brush. And I'm using my Champagne Pop. As I said, I broke it so you guys cannot see it. But I'm going to use it because it gives me the same amount of glow it did before it broke. So. Ooh, love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Fix it. I'm going to do blush. And for blush, I'm using my Royal Techniques uh, blush brush. And this is my ambient lighting blush in diffused heat. For that flush to roll your cheeks. I'm going to apply diffused light under my eye to set up my concealer, which I should have done right away. I didn't feel like baking. Now I'm going to do my brows. I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow with. Just going to go with the flow. Now it's time to move on to leaves, and I am using. Um, Clueless by Colourpop. Um, so I'm just going to set my makeup up using Tony Molly um, Pocket Bunny Moist Mist. So this is the final look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really love doing this makeup video, makeup tutorial, actually. I say that all the time, but I really love doing makeup tutorials for you guys, and I mean, and when there's a great palette like this, I mean, come on, this palette did such a great job. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and till I see you next time on my video, cheerios!